In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to export your video in the 2017 hit film Express Video Editor. And so I like the hit film for Express, uh, how they uh, set it up in hit film for Express. I think that was more intuitive and more simpler for the users, for people like me to use it. But what they did is just make it uh, just more complicated. So anyways, what you do is there's two options here. I do believe it's just this one. If you just want to export whatever is on the video or timeline, and not just the extra empty space. So I can say continue editing and it added it to my export and the list of export tracks. Like you see there's a bunch of empty space here and the other option is to add, um, just um, adds the whole timeline including the empty space. I'll go ahead and show you. So this is without the two arrows, okay? See there's two arrows, that one uh, over there. The one without the two arrows, let's see what it did. So if you go ahead and uh, um, take a look, it added the uh, video to the queue. It added it over here to out. Uh, um, it tells you where it outputs, and you can notice the duration. Right now, it's two uh, two minutes and thirteen two uh, two minutes and thirteen seconds. Okay, and so that's uh, that's when you choose the uh, track over here without the arrows. If you choose a track with the arrows, you, um, and you click go to export. You'll notice it um, adds the whole timeline, including the blank space, which is really, I, I don't know. I guess some people might want to do it. It doesn't make any sense to me. So I'll go ahead and remove that track. So that's uh, how you add the track to the export over here. And before you go ahead and tell it to start exporting, you have all the things to do, uh, take notice. You can change the format over here. Uh, you Well, it doesn't let you change the format over here. I think you need to choose a preset. So uh, actually, so from the presets, you can uh, you have a couple of options. You can do YouTube 1080p or, uh, and then other things over here. And what I don't like is that um, uh, they don't have a full HD 60 FPS because on uh, YouTube, you do have the option of uploading uh, full HD 60 FPS um, you know quality video. And so I went ahead and made that preset. In order to make a preset, you go ahead and say new preset over here and make sure it's an MP4. You have also image sequence and AVI. So go ahead, choose MP4, and I already labeled mine, as you can see, this one, full HD 60 FPS. So I'll just call this test, and you can add some comments, but over here is important. So you have a couple of options over here. What I did is untick this, because maybe sometimes, even though, like if you do an image slideshow, you want, you still want it to be full um, 60 FPS frames per second. So that's how you set that up, and so that's for the video. It's already uh, the dimensions are set and I think that was the only change I made to make that particular preset so I'll go ahead and select this preset or actually I'm sure it's here you don't you don't select it from here you select it from over here so you see where it says YouTube 1080p HD you actually just go to full HD uh, 60 FPS over there so that's for the preset and that also, um, according to the preset, it's either MP4, or AVI, or image sequence. And finally, you go ahead and choose where you want to output this to. So it's telling me, oh, I'm going to output this to uh, Desktop Hit Film, for, uh, Hit Film Express 2016, uh, 2017 Exports. So it outputs onto your desktop as a separate folder, and that's fine. I don't care. And I'll go ahead and test. Sure. I'll save it and I'll go ahead and export this. And that's how you do it. Um, thanks for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate it if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, if I've missed anything in my explanation and you still would like uh, me to explain it, go ahead and ask me in the comments. Bye.